liked um, I've always liked the more melodic side, you know. Um, a little bit less crazy. Rodney, um, God is a there's a decent rhythm section down there. Um, uh, uh, no, 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 more melodic solos and really incorporates there. I wouldn't want anybody else playing guitar in my band. He's just the way he structures his stuff, the way he writes, his thought patterns that he has when he's, he's doing a song, he's doing a riff or whatever, it perfectly fits what I'm doing. And if he's writing something, I can definitely work with something he's doing because his writing style, I really like it. We started playing guitar at around about the same time. But um, our influences were also very similar at the time. But he, he, like, you know, he was always more like the Children of Bodom, Arch Enemy kind of uh, vibe. And I was more like listening to Jimmy Bokir and Slayer and stuff like that. But um, it all comes together. We all like the same kind of music, basically, in that sense. And our guitar work definitely reflects that. He, he's definitely the more, you know, let's let's do the simple but solid kind of kind of thing. And I'm more like, no, let's go out there. You know, let's let's try something that no one's ever heard before. Let's do a freaking Pac-Man solo in the middle of the freaking thing. You know, and you'll just be like, okay, yeah, we can do that, but. Let's come back to the solid riff with, you know, chuck chuck or something like in the middle. And be like, yeah, you know, we've got to kind of come back to Earth again. That's probably a good idea. But yeah, we, we feed off each other. It's, it's just excellent. I, I love working with the guy. I'd probably bring the more technical and abnormal elements to the band as far as the writing style goes, the odd structures, the weird time signatures, <laughs> that sort of thing. Ryan, crazy motherfucker. He's actually my cousin, second cousin. Um, we've known each other forever. We started playing guitar at the same time, um, same influences. Um, fucking shreds, he's still one of the best guitarists I know. You could like put him right next to uh, Corey from Trivium, you could put him next to like Alexi, he's really really good. Basically another member that uh, made St. Dalgis what it is. Um, and he, he does everything in the band. He's like the hard, solid, antique wooden stool that just doesn't break. He keeps going, nothing brings him down. Someone turns him down, or someone you know uh, gives him shit about an event, or this or that. He always knows what to say. He always he, he does everything to the best of his ability. He, he manages everything. I definitely handle the more business side of things as far as the band goes. I mean, like from the start, basically, um, like I've always been the guy that's sort of said, "No, guys, let's try, um, let's try, like you know, do, speak to these people." Or, or these guys want to manage us, or, or you know, um, everything like this event's happening, this festival's happening, let's talk to these guys, they host those festivals, and basically just like put myself out there in the industry and just make these kind of contacts that we need in order to develop. Basically, everything um, a management agency and label would do, I pretty much do myself. Ryan, lead guitar, Ryan, um, crazy character. A lot of weirdness, it's good weirdness, pretty funny, cruises around in boxes a lot. The lineup we have in our band I think is some of the most amazing people I've ever worked with. Michael, 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 Michael.
My first experience joining a band was terrifying. Ryan, fucking hey. <laughs> What happened, man? Yeah, right. tell us, man. I don't know. I don't <laughs> want to talk about it. Man. <laughs> Ryan has this idea that when you meet a guy, uh, the best way, basically, it's like a little personality check. Uh, what he would do is he would go up to the guy. I I'm not 100% sure, but he would smile. He would smile at them and smack his ass. He came to shake my hand, and I went around the back, and I gave him a little spank on the butt. And... He could have either responded in two ways. He could have either said, Dude, what the fuck? Oh, you're some sort of gay queer mo. Or he could have said, Dude, that was pretty weird, but okay. So, I mean, there it was. Guy's cool. I've been playing oh, piano no. since the age of six. I've been playing drums for about five years now. And that's a guitar for about no, three. No. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, about Who six like years. Up? What sort of bands like have influenced you? Uh, melodic death metal bands like Faceless and those types of bands. <laughs> those types. Those. What's happening here? You guys are having bum sex? Mm, it's good. Bum sex! <laughs> I'm flipping <laughs> over my back. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't. Yeah, no. So a, a very tight drummer. He's a beast in the drum. You know, like a machine just goes off at it. He's an amazing drummer. He. He's, he's very dedicated in um, writing music. He's written a lot of his own songs. Uh, he's freaking fast, he's technical, he's tight. He's basically like a human drum machine metronome. He's freaking good. And the guy is a lot younger than the rest of us. And to be so good at like what he does at that age, I think is like, wow. I mean, imagine like 10 years from now what he's gonna be doing. It's just it's crazy. <laughs> And myself, we do not play with dice, so we...